how's it going? Knocked together a radio flow filter on the weekend and thought you might want to have a bit of a look at some vision we took while we were making it. So to begin with, the radial flow filter is a solids filter for the water in your aquaponics system. What it does is change the direction of the flow of water to such a degree that the suspended solids in that water will fall out. So they'll settle to the bottom of the filter which can then be drawn off and used in your veggie patch or wherever. Meanwhile the nice clean water is taken off and put through to your sump filter grow beds however you're going to plumb it up. So. That's a bit of a rough explanation, but you'll see what I mean as I go through the build. So, this the idea of this came from Earthen Group's webpage. It's a little DIY they got on there. I'll put a link in the description below. They got some other interesting bits and pieces on that website as well that are worth checking out for aquaculture and aquaponicists. If that's the word, aquaponicus. Anyway, I'll show you the tools we used and I'll explain the system and how it went together. These are the tools we used, and because I used a 40mm pipe to plumb the water in and out of the filter, I used a 2.5 inch or a 64mm hole saw, and that took the 40mm uni seals very nicely, nice snug fit. For the grommet that holds the 1 inch tap, that's the draw off tap that sits at the bottom of the filter, I used a 1 and 1 8 or a 29mm hole saw, and the little inch grommet slides in there easily, and then it takes a bit of effort to get the tap through, but that makes it a nice tight seal. Marking pen, always required. Also, a drill. This is for the bottom end cap of the slow, or the solid lifting outlet, in the fish tank. So this is just to allow water to go in. I actually also used a drop down saw to cut some holes in the base of that slow pipe as well. A file. Uh, I used the file to round off the ends of the pipe, mainly because it makes them a lot easier to push through the uni seals. So, comes in handy. Measuring tape, well, goes without saying, and a hacksaw just to cut the pipe and a nice bench to work on. So this is where the system really starts. This is a solids lifting outlet. It's basically a pipe with an end cap on it with holes drilled in the bottom. There's also some slots down there in the actual pipe. It gathers the solids suspended in the water and the water as well, takes it up this pipe through that T, I've got a um, cutoff valve there if I ever need to work on the filter, and then down into the filter, which you'll see in a minute. The reason you use a T on these sort of pipes is if something happens and a siphon occurs, you don't want the level of your fish tank draining down to there. So that way the water level will stay constant. There's a hole there, air can get in, and a siphon won't be initiated. So I'll get this back in the tank and close it up for the fish. It's a nice firm fit, all it is is um, pushed in nice and tight, no glue involved at that point whatsoever. The water from the pipe then exits out here. I sprung for a bulkhead fitting, the hole was too small for a uni seal and I didn't want to stuff around trying to enlarge it for one, so went out and sprung for a bulkhead fitting. This elbow screws onto it nice and neatly. This existing pipe work and most of it's actually bits left over from the overflow. So the water tracks down here, around this 90 degree. And then in here I've actually got two 45 degrees and they meet and make a complete 90 degree turn. The reason you do that is if water was to come through and hit a 90 degree and then try and go up, it would be very hard and it would retard the flow of the water, make it a bit difficult. So if you have a nice gentle 45 degree, the water tracks up nicely, a little bit smoother and up through the outlet pipe. So that outlet pipe actually sits inside a a, a pipe inside, the water comes up, hits the sides of the pipe and is redirected down. There's no holes at the top, it's redirected down to flow underneath the pipe and then into the main chamber. In that main chamber, the suspended solids fall from the water flow because the direction change just means it slows down enough for them to actually fall to the bottom. The nice clean water is then taken out at the top. This is just a pipe, 40mm pipe that goes straight through a uni seal into the top of the bin, so or the filter, and draws off the cleaner water down into the sump tank. So this is the effluent tap, I suppose you'd call it. It draws out the solids, uh, turning that on. All the solids, in theory, should rush out, and I can collect them and use them on the garden. And I must say, these uni seals and grommets do a great job. No leaks, no nothing. So very happy with them. In the original design for the flow diverter. I suppose you'd call it flow diverting pipe. A 150 millimeter or a half foot stormwater pipe is used. 
Uh, end cap for that stormwater, stormwater pipe is actually bolted onto the roof and then the pipe is then pushed into that. Um, I decided to muck around with something else and I have started using a 200 millimeter flower pot or an 8 inch flower pot and that's just bolted in situ. So I've actually marked it so the holes can be used on an end cap if I decide to get one. It doesn't quite come quite down the whole foot under the water level as you can see it's a bit dry at the top. And there you go, there's the pipe that comes up through the top, comes up into here, the flow of the water is diverted using the sides of this pot downwards, and as you can see, the solids have been collecting rather nicely. So the other day, on Saturday, it started out nice and clean, and as you can see, it's collected quite a bit of gunk in a day and a half. The water is then drawn off the top here, and then out through this pipe and into our sump. That's the way we've rigged it up, but it could go out into a grow bed, into your grow beds, or an, into a biofilter, or however you want to work it out. It's actually working rather well, that's really impressed me. So, in about a week's time, I'll open up the tap and try and draw out as much of that gunk as we can. It's actually fun to watch as well. Anyway, I'll put this back on. It is a pretty easy build. It only took me to actually build the filter itself, to cut the holes with the hole saw, file down the end bits of the pipe so they fit through the uniseals nicely, and get it to that position where I was ready to sit there on the um, stand it was probably about 20-30 minutes, so not a very long build at all. I did have to stuff around with a few other things though. I bought a 3500 litre an hour pump to get, pump out the sump into the fish tank, to get the whole system running. That worked all right, and there's a little bit of water just coming over the top of the um, standpipe in there. Luckily, I had a 4,500 litre an hour pump that we've been using to pump water from the backup tank into the sump tank. So I took out the, the newer one and I put in the old faithful, threw him in there, and he's been driving, running the system beautifully. So the water level's nice and high. I've got the tap over the back from the sump tank on full, so the pump's running as fast as it can, and we're getting a nice collection of debris down the bottom of that drum. I'm really chuffed. So that's pretty much all it for the radial flow filter. Don't forget Earthen Group's website. Uh, the link is in the description below. Uh, Paul has a whole ton of information on there for us backyardies. Um, he is a commercial builder, though. He builds aquaculture and aquaponic systems that use pipes, the diameter of our soil filter. So is into the serious big boy stuff but there's tons of information for us backyardies on his website as well different charts and tables and diy bits and pieces so it's well worth checking out any comments questions suggestions drop them in the comment section below and i'll get back to you i hope i've explained it well enough but if not like i say just flip us a question and i'll be all too happy to try and explain it have a great one take it easy and catch ya